Hi, welcome for RTL Online Trainings. I am here to explain about today uh, a procurement model in uh, fusion supply chain management whenever we are applying. Uh, we know that uh, when we apply as functional or technical, they'll ask you, are you comfortable with fusion procurement? If we say yes, we are comfortable with fusion procurement. What are the different uh, modules you are comfortable in the procurement? Generally, what we think is procurement is a, a single module. But when it comes for procurement in Fusion Cloud, it's a group of modules. Let's say group of modules. What are those modules we are going to discuss? Here? So Fusion procurement means it comes with first purchasing. First is a purchasing. In purchasing module, we know that we'll be talking about requisitions, purchase orders, RFQ, quotations, these all will be discussing. Then after completion of the purchasing, then we will find self-service procurement. In self-service procurement, we'll be talking about the catalogs, punch out catalogs, right? And then we'll be talking about uh, local catalogs, informational catalogs, content zones. This is all how the requisitions will be raised by using self-service procurement. Then we will find the sourcing documents, like how the sourcing rules will be defined, how the sourcing documents like RFQ, two-way and three-way, these all are going to be specified here. It is sourcing. Another one is procurement contracts. In purchasing model, we have standard purchase orders, blanket purchase agreement, contract purchase agreement, this is all right. Uh, but whenever we would like to have some agreements with the suppliers, when we want to have some agreements with the suppliers and contracts, then we will be using separate procurement contracts. We are going to have separate procurement contracts. And then we have supplier portal. So supplier portal is a mainly tool which we will be using to communicate with the supplier as well as the buyer. Because we will send the purchase order to supplier then supplier also can request us to make some changes in the purchase order. We'll call it as uh, change orders. And supplier can also send the ASN advanced shipment notice and goods receipt note. And also supplier can communicate with the buyer by sending invoices and all. So these are uh, main five, five products. It comes as a procurement. Then only we will call it as uh, Oracle Fusion Procurement. Okay, so if you are clear with only purchasing model, then you can mention that clearly I'm flexible with purchasing model implementation as a functional consultant or a technical consultant, whatever we have. Okay, so if at all we are going to say that I am perfect in the procurement model, definitely they will be expecting all these models. Okay, so what are the models we have in the procurement in Fusion Cloud? We have sourcing module, we have self-service procurement, we have purchasing, we have procurement contracts, and also we have the supplier portal. So whenever we combine all these five modules, then we will call it as procurement. Purchasing model is lengthy, it takes time, but self-service procurement, sourcing, supplier portal, and procurement contracts, not that much uh, complexity, uh, as soon as we learn purchasing, then the remaining all are just having some functionality and integrate with our modules. Okay. And we have something called spend classification, analysis, and performance management. These all are technical side. Like we will find some BI reports, ODBA analysis, some infolets. These all are going to be dashboards. It is going to show the procurement uh, information like analysis so that the management side, uh, higher level management, they can view the information very clearly in the graphical format also, according to their requirement. So that's what we call it as Oracle Fusion Procurement. So most of the people, uh, procurement and purchasing both are same, they might think, but it's not. Purchasing is a part of procurement. Purchasing is a part of procurement, okay? Thank you.